DC public school students and their families getting ready to head back to school. Their first day back in class is tomorrow. And look, you remember your first day of class, no matter what the circumstance, no matter what the year, it's always full of change. But this year, there might be even more of it. Some students will return to a new school at the recently unveiled Benjamin Banneker Academic High School or a newly rebuilt and renamed facility like those attending the old West Elementary School in Petworth, now rechristened John Lewis Elementary School. One, two, three. Others will be back to more familiar halls. So they stay with their cohort. But all need to be ready for changes. The district's public school system is juggling a massive return to in-person learning with the threats of a COVID virus that stubbornly remains a factor. And that means there are policies you've got to know before the first day back. First, and maybe the biggest, the default this year is in-person learning. Only those students with a documented medical need are allowed to attend school virtually. The D.C. Public Schools Chancellor told WUSA 9 earlier this week about 150 families have applied for that exemption. Another important thing to be aware of, according to guidance on the school system's website, unvaccinated individuals who travel outside of the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area are recommended to self-quarantine upon return for at least seven days. D.C. Public Schools also plans to test students for COVID. They say they'll be testing 10% of students each week. And according to a recent update from school leaders, all students are automatically enrolled in that COVID testing protocol. In Northwest D.C., Zach Merchant, WUSA 9.